What's good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? J Daisy here with the J Daisy Gaming Channel. Here with just a quick little video, or hopefully it's quick. I don't know when I get talking, I might go a little bit longer. Um, with an update on Wild West Online, the open alpha or closed alpha, apologies, um, was this last weekend. Um, for disclosure, my game capture would not work with it. XSplit did not work, and either broadcast or GameCast did not work with it. So, this is the gameplay. Um, footage from the uh, the creators that I will link down in the description video not monetized just just to uh, give that a heads up just want to give a little update on the alpha um, I played probably about two maybe three hours of it um, and it shows a lot of promise it shows a lot a lot of promise I want to start by saying um, that it, this is an alpha as I said and it, the uh, authors came out yesterday with their notes saying Hey, we wanted to let you guys know that this is what we were looking for. They were looking for um, more, uh, just making sure their network worked, making sure their servers could handle a load, making sure everything worked properly, more on the infrastructure side, less of the gameplay side, um, is what they said in their patch notes, or not patch notes, but their press release um, I saw on Facebook. So... Um, how did the alpha play? Like I keep saying, it showed a lot of promise. There's a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, but there was a lot of stuff that you could s tell was going to be implemented, just hadn't been yet. Um, it was often cast as white. Um, this was like mostly things that you would try and loot or look through, so uh, like chests or chest of drawers or beds and stuff like that um, would be white, so they weren't textured, so they weren't ready to be implemented. Um, but the horse mechanics, oh, they were beautiful. They were beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I didn't have really any problems, um, as far as glitching wise. Um, there was a couple graphical errors, like if, uh, something on a horizon just hadn't popped in yet. Um, but even AAA games have that. Um, as far as major things that I saw that concerned me on the other side of the flip coin is I will be the first person to say, that I do not like MMOs. I do not. I I don't like you know Skyrim Online, anything like that. Anything MMO I do not like. Um, and this kind of had a lot of that. When you would get in town, you'd see a lot of players. Um, and I don't know if that's just my my anxiety taking effect that I just don't like being around people, let alone in games. Um, because example, uh, I literally the first ten minutes I got in the game, spawned in, figured out how to call my horse. It's like, okay, okay, ride around, and I stopped at a uh, little farmhouse right outside the first town you stop at, and I saw some people were wandering around, and I was like, oh, I'll check out what's in here. Um, and they all ganged up on me, and I was able to fire a shot off with my pistol, and they all beat me to death and laughed at me over the, the local voice chat and, uh, you know, did the typical scrub, 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 noob, noob, noob. It's like the game's been out for 10 minutes. Actually, by that point, I've been out for about two hours. Um, which really sucks because then I had to start back over with nothing. I had nothing. And uh, when I say nothing, I still had my horse. They didn't take my horsey, but they took all the money I had that they, they had been given to me for the alpha. Um, they took the gun I had um, and guns. And so the base peacemaker was $25. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, um, but let me put it this way. I went out into the forest and collected a whole bunch of plants, uh, probably about a dozen plants, and made about 15 cents. Uh, so the economy is a very real economy, and I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, but as I was saying, is I really hope that it, it stays more as a single-player experience and less as a MMO. Um, I really hope that you know, if you claim a farmstead, that there's not 80 other people that claim that same farmstead, and they're all running around your farmstead even though they don't own it. Um, I really hope that it kind of goes the way of the division, um, to where certain areas are multiplayer and certain areas are single-player. Um, I really like that aspect. I did, you know, it's not that way I could tell because when you're riding from town to town, you would run into people um, and you'd be chatting, or you, like you'd go past them. Um, that, that one time, my first 10 minutes was the only interaction I had where it was negative. Every, every, every other time, I really didn't have any inter, other interactions. So, you know, it could just be those toxic people that always come out in video games especially um, that just kind of spoiled that for me. Uh, I did um, get eventually the next day I jumped in and they must have just reset the servers or did a soft reset um, because I had money again so I was able to buy a new gun, uh, buy, bought some gold maps and some pickaxe and was able to go actually find some gold. 
Um, it worked where when you would look at the map, it would only reveal a certain radius. Um, so you would have to ride around, activate the map, and hope you were in that radius of the area it was affecting. Um, if it wasn't, you just lost that area. You, you didn't find any. Um, so it's a matter of I rode around and found it. Um, there is a this is probably just an alpha thing, but if you were in town and you called your horse, it would always spawn outside of the town's jurisdiction because once you get into town, you're covered by the law enforcement of the town. So it's that's why you can't be shot just on on spawning in. But it would always put the horse outside of the town. Now I'm guessing that's just an alpha thing because it shows in the gameplay trailers and stuff that you're able to hit your horse at areas, stuff like that. So I'm guessing that's more of an alpha thing that they they you know certain things need to be cut and implemented later, which is understandable. This is a very early alpha. They've said that several times. Um, for full disclosure, I did reach out to the folks over there at Wild West Online, um, asking if they wanted to sponsor a Let's Play or something. Um, I never got they never got back to me, which is perfectly fine. I'm pretty sure they have plenty of stuff on their on their plate. But like I said, I, none of my game capture could work, um, so I wouldn't have been able to do a proper let's play or anything like that. But I thought less is this a review and more of it like a Daisy Field update thing, putting out there that this game you know had an alpha. Um, from my side, it went really well. Um, I enjoyed the like I said maybe two maybe three hours I put in it. Um, it showed a lot a lot of promise. It still has the thing of I'm worried of Rockstar if they do um, have Red Dead Redemption 3 come out on PC that this may be some muddied water they get in. I, I'm not saying this is copying them at all. This is very, it has its new uniqueness, it has its nuances, but to a layman person, it could be disconstructed to say, hey, these two things look a lot, lot alike. This coming from more of an indie game developer's um versus a, hypothetically a triple a company um it could be a battle of lawyers and that's when things get real muddled um i really hope that doesn't happen because this game shows a lot of process pro yeah, shows a lot of promise and i'm very excited to see where it goes um from the time that i backed it on their personal website to now where the alphas are coming out it's probably only been two maybe three months um and i don't want to you know take any more credit than I have but I felt like I got in it at a very early stage um, so it's interesting to see how fast that cycle is going as opposed to something like Star Citizen that's been in development for several years this game could still do that they just put out an alpha um, to you know show what they're working on and take another two years to work on I don't know um, if any other developments get wind I will gladly um, let you guys know if I feel they're big enough to warrant a video just want to put this one out there let you guys know um, that this was working and everything. Um, sorry, I didn't have any game footage. I will not monetize this video so they uh, can get their, um, you know, their their just due. Please check them out if you're interested in Western games. Um, I cannot confirm whether or not this will have a single player or anything like that. Um, I I should have that knowledge, but I just don't off the top of my head. Um, I will put a link down to their website. You can check it out if you're interested in backing or anything like that. I'm not affiliated in any shape, way, or form. Just a fan enjoying the gameplay. Um, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment box. And as always, we're all in this one together. See you in the next one.